It's from the 33rd team, uh, and those are a group of former NFL personnel and executives. Um, and they say Kevin Stefanski um, is on the hot seat. Brown's early schedule, you see it listed there. Um, if the new reality for Deshaun Watson is the player we saw at the end of last season, the first four games are a stretch where Cleveland could easily enter uh, week five by with a one and three record. In that event, Browns could host the 49ers in week five with a new coach. Stefanski is a candidate to be the first coach fired. I don't know about that, but he's got to take him to the playoffs. I mean, I, I, hot seat, I, you know, there are expectations. And if you don't meet expectations as an NFL head coach, they move on. Yeah, that's that's the reality of the NFL and really any professional sport. You have to have results or they're going to replace you. And if the Browns are one in three by that point, I don't think Kevin Stefanski gets fired. I really don't see that happening. Now, if and I'm hoping this doesn't happen, let's say they're 0 and 4, they very well could make that change at that point because then they're just it might be inevitable inevitable that they just need to move on. But I don't I just don't see it happening because that's just really early in the season and I know the Browns have an early buy and so it's easy to draw that conclusion from that as if oh the Browns struggle Kevin Stefanski could be fired. But you know what? That's also early in the season. Sometimes it takes a couple weeks for a team to really get in groove um, in an NFL season. So, but I don't think the Browns are going to be one in three by that point. It, it is an interesting uh, conversation that will be had if that record is a losing record going into the bye week. Because <laughs> if if we thought Kevin Stefanski's on a hot seat now, oh, it's going to be really brutal if we're at the bye week and the Browns have a losing record. Yeah, I, I would agree.